Hello divinities, my name is Jay Simone and today I'm going to be teaching you an easy, simple way to um, turn your basic cleaning supplies into also spiritually cleansing supplies. Um, the reason that I chose this method and do this is because um, some days I suffer from depression and anxiety and I find that um, it can be hard to motivate myself to move. So the fewer barriers I have to getting something done, um, the more my future depressed or anxiety, anxious self will be thankful for past Jay Simone's um, actions. I also choose to do this because um, it just is a very, very simple way to quickly cleanse your bathroom or anything, any area or space. Um, you can do this with any type of spiritual water. Um, so let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to say thanks again for watching Divinities. If you want to see more of my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell to turn on the notifications so you don't miss a post. Also check out my social media linked in the description box and leave a comment below if this information was helpful to you. If you think someone could benefit from this information, be sure to share. Thanks again for your support. Stay blessed. Ashe. What you're going to want first is a glass jar of some sort um, or really any jar. You don't have glass. I mean, I have glass just because that's what I prefer for um, some of the cleansings and cleanings that I do. I know that a lot of people... Um, who are more focused on being earth friendly are trying to focus on having more glass um, as their container. So this glass container is a little dirty. Keep in my bathroom. Um, like I said, this is how I um, prepare for days that I'm not fully energized or on days that I'm not fully um, able to uh, function. Well, not, not so much function. This is how I prepare for days that I know that I'm not going to be fully energized and really, but still want to do a spiritual bath and to do a quick cleansing um, of the bath and to just make some things happen. Alright, so let's get started. Um, what you're going to need is some dish soap. I got this from Target. Actually, a lot of the stuff that I have here is from Target. Not sponsored. Target didn't want to sponsor But I just have some simple dish soap. A lot of people use Dawn. I wasn't that picky with this just because it is just a clean product. So that. Then you're going to want yourself want to get yourself some white vinegar. Um, as many people know, uh, dish soap and white vinegar together make a very excellent cleaning agent. Uh, especially with me, I personally wear a lot of um, body oils. Like I use shea butter almost every day. Um, this this stuff just cuts through that grime while uh, cleaning and making everything just look nice and pretty. Then you'll also want to get yourself Florida water. I have Florida water. You can honestly use any spiritual water of your choice. I'm choosing Florida water because Florida water is known for cleansing and that's typically what I use this mixture for since more often than not, if I am having to clean, that is typically what I'm trying to have happen. But if you want to experiment with a different type of uh, spiritual water, please let me know. And then lastly, I have these towels. These are microfiber towels that I got as part of a pack. Um, I know some people like microfiber, I know some people don't. Um, I just have to have these lying around in the for them. And so they work perfectly for keeping in this jar um, as ready to use handy whenever cleaning towels. But like I said, fewer barriers for me getting stuff done and getting stuff cleaned. I don't have to go around and look for paper towels. I don't have to go around and look for towels. I don't have to spend a lot of time looking for a lot of things. Um, and just, it, everything's here already all done. Now, I will advise 
if you feel like at some point you may need to be a little bit more in depth in cleaning, you can make the same solution and put in a spray bottle. You can choose not to because, like I said, using these microfiber towels pretty much means I don't need to use the spray bottle. Um, spray bottle, just being a random spray bottle. Um, filled with the same solution. So, as you see, I already have some in here. Sorry, um, I tried to shake it up and get everything together again. So there's like a lot of bubbles, so kind of forgive me. But the first thing you're going to do is put in your white vinegar, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. Um, you don't, I don't really measure this out. I just kind of do it as, uh, I do it. Um, intuitively, um, just because I also know that the white vinegar is, it makes us the most um, watery in a sense, and you kind of want it a little bit more on the watery side, but like not too much watery, because you still want to be able to get like a uh, sudden so not additional. So first we're going to put in the white vinegar. See, there's rust on this just because I've had it for such a long time. But now, that, now that everything's done, we're gonna go ahead and take the towels that I mentioned before that I have um, just laying around, picked up, and I decided to use. And I guess I'm probably about to make a slight mess here, but that's okay because this essentially is just like a cleaning solution. Um, but what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just put the towels in. Because the other thing is, with them being microfiber, they're going to start um, absorbing a lot of the solution and I may have to add more just to um, have a lot of the solution at the ready. into my cleaning products. 
So one another way that you can mix spiritual cleansing into your cleaning is you can actually take a cap full of Florida water and do a and put it into a bottle of glass cleaner. Now I know that you may be concerned it may cause it to streak and whatnot because the glass cleaner is not supposed to streak. Um, I have found that even with this amount, granted that I did add um, the amount from another bottle that was weighing, um, just putting a little bit of pour water, even this amount doesn't cause any problems with glass streaking um, when you decide, if you decide to also use this for glass. Um, then we also have here, just these are your basic anti antibacterial cloths, clean cloths. Um, now, I I know that some people like you know don't like using these because they want to be able to like save the earth and whatnot. Me, I am a germaphobe, so I typically use these for cleaning the toilet. I don't. You guys do you. You do whatever. Um, also, these are handy if you want to keep them in your car or if you want to keep them at your desk or just in general. Um, you cannot deny the fact that these are extremely handy. Maybe one day I can make like a jar like this in this size, but right now that is not in the cards. Anyways, you can take one of these and just like when you first open it, as you can see, it's a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it from here, but it's going to be like a roll with like a little thing in the center. And you can just take a cap full of support of water put it into here, shake it up a bit, let it simmer, um, not simmer, but you can let it sit for a little while, and then you turn these into a cleansing, um, like spiritually cleansing agent, while also being a clean agent as well. Um, another thing I like to do is, say for example, I'm cleaning the toilet, um, I'm sure many of you use the toilet cleaners that like cling to the side of the bowl and then like you have to wash it in order to finish the cleansing um or finish cleaning the toilet so if you are the type of person you do like which I'm sure most, most of us are um one of the things that I like to do is I like to put just one capful of floor water into the um toilet tank before I flush to remove the cling on cleansing or the like you know bleach clean the bleach cling um just really any kind of toilet bowl cleaner um just put a cap of this into the tank and then you've essentially spiritually cleansed your toilet and let's be for some of us probably need to spiritually cleanse our toilets um if you know you know so um that will be all for this video. I hope that you guys will find these tips useful, um, especially uh, fellow sufferers of anxiety and depression. Um, this really is mostly for you um, as this has been what has helped me most and still keeping up with chores and well, not so much chores, but just daily living, daily care um, as an adult, um, especially since Part of me wants to, this is for me and for me alone, I want to be a functioning individual despite suffering from anxiety and depression. I know some people, depending on where you are in the spectrum of that, are able to do that, some people are not. This is no shame to those that are not able to do that. This is for people that are more on my side of the spectrum and are still able to more or less function. Um, and I guess for the most part, people don't realize you have a problem unless you actually say something. Um, well, not, anxiety and depression is not a problem. Anxiety and depression um, just add a different layer to this human experience. So, um, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you divinities again soon. Um, and I wanna just also, uh, wish you guys happy cleaning. Hopefully this video is posted in time for the spring equinox because I know a lot of people will be doing some cleansings and cleaning there. Um, and I hope you guys
guys have a happy spring equinox.